welcome to this week's Workout Wednesday Week 29 2021 solution video. This challenge was collaborated with Prepping Data and also Workout Wednesday from the Power BI side as well. So this visualization is using the Olympic data set to find out the schedule of many different sports. And on here we can see that we have a medals ceremony and also just when the qualifications are. You're also able to add a particular sport into the mix as well. So I want to add rugby in there and then I can also remove rugby as well. So let's go ahead and build some of this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to bring back just the sports that I'm interested in. So as you can see, we've built a set. To recap, if I right click on my sports group and go create set, this is then going to create the set that we want. So if I just edit the set, you'll be able to see what's happening. So I have just three selected within my set. Sport group is available from the data set itself through prepping data. So I'm just going to add that to my filters. I'm going to add my sport group on and then also my sport as well. Let's just make it fit entire view for now. And then what we need to do now is we need to have our dates across the top and whether it's a final or a qualification option. So we need to use the date time, but because I put in the specification of changing the time zone, if I just show my parameter here, what happens is this is just going from minus 12 to 12 with a step size of one. And in my adjusted time zone, I have the date add hour with the time zone parameter onto the UK date time. So what we can do here is I'm just going to option drag or right click and drag my adjusted time zone and I want months. And then I'm going to repeat again and this time for day. So now I have my days and my months. If I just put on my events split from my data set, you'll see that there's lots of different events going on at the same time and some of them are prelim preliminary preliminaries um, and others are qualifications and then we also have some finals. Now with the data set itself where we got it from they don't always represent whether it was a medal ceremony or just a final so therefore I've pulled together um, a different um, calculation to say is the event split contain a space then final or is it just a medal ceremony? So I'm going to add that onto uh, my detail instead. So now I have just one mark per day. On some days, there's obviously both the um, qualification and the final slash medal ceremony as well. So let's change that to shape and add my finals to shape. Obviously, because I have this workbook already set up, it's picked up my correct shapes for now. So you could leave it as this, um, as it is right now, because we have our shapes ready to go um, and they're slightly offset here as well. However, I did use an index just to make sure that they were um, a little bit um, more aligned. Now you'll notice that not every sport now has a qualification or a medal. So what we need to do is we need to tell Tableau what it is that we want. So we want to group by all of these individual elements here. So we want to tick all of them and then I'm going to edit my axes and just make sure it, it doesn't need to include zero and they can all be independent as well so that we all have them set out the way that we want. And then finally, I'm just gonna untick my show header, get rid of some pesky grid lines from our columns. And then if I just go back um, 
to my dashboard. I still have my, my lines in there as well. So that's all good. So now I have the, the baseline done of our particular worksheet. What you could also do is you could put the finals onto size as well, just to make sure that the medal ceremonies stand out just a little bit more. You'll notice that um, on the tooltip of the actual visualization, you have the event details from that day, but also the other sports that are on qualifications or finals for that particular day as well. So with that, all we needed to do is we just needed to put our event split and sport on here. And then I think it had um, uh, the date time as well. So if I just put this into here, I'm just going to have it as that for now. And then um, I just added the event split onto text and then hid this header so it just makes it look a little bit um, better, I meant fit width for now. So we have this, uh, you can format that how you like. If we go back to our tooltip, what we're going to do is we're going to add this into our tooltip here. So I'm going to go insert sheet number six. And and what we're going to, we're going to leave this set as all fields. So this is going to look at the sport and the day as well. So if I click OK, what you'll see now is this is going to pick up the um, the sport and then if you hover over the final it will show you the finals of that sport as well. You can change the size so maybe I want to have a 600 width on that just so that it gets a little bit more um, space. And then on the other viz is what other sports are happening during that day. So what we want is our sports and we want to count distinct the number of events and then also put the finals into that option as well. So is it a final or is it not? And then we're going to sort by the falses as well. So let me just check on that one. So I did label it qualification or final. So I think that is this one where we've just said it's the final or qualification. So I'll put that one into the view instead and sort by, oh, sorry, want to sort by qualification and move the qualification over to there. And again, just clean up as, as best as you can. So now when I go back into my tooltip underneath here, what we're going to do is we're going to insert that sheet number seven. I'm going to give it a max width of 600 again, but this time all we want to do here is we want to change that to our day of adjusted time zone because that will then just focus in on the specific day so that we can see all of the sports that are happening within that day as well. So I'm just going to add some labels remove the header and also change the height of this as well to be 600. So now we can see all of our medals that are happening um, on that day as well as the other sports. And then bringing that together in a dashboard, I'm just going to bring in a container first and then our sports. I'm going to delete this container and then on our dashboard, we have our sports selection. So that is just um, having the sport set on color and then the sport going on our text here. And I'm just going to use the average of one and I'm going to um, edit the axes to make sure it's fixed at one. And I'm going to center align the um, the sports um, and actually I think I use the sport group instead not the sport itself so I'm gonna um, make that fit entire view and then unshow the header and on my dashboard I'm gonna add that into my container here 
And the reason why I want to add it into my container is because with this 2021.1 feature, we have the option to add a show hide button here. And if I just add in a blank at the very top, you'll see it here. So now what happens here is if I press option or control um, or alt, sorry, um, it will hide it even though the title is there as well. So it just gives you that little bit more um, degree of accuracy rather than having to float it. So if even if I change the width of the, the sheet itself, it will minimize the whole thing. And that's pretty much it for this um, session. Um, one last thing would be to make sure that my set action was created. So if I go to set actions, I'm only one of doing it from sheet eight, which is my sports selection, change it to the sport group. And I did do it on the menu option because I wanted to add and remove. So I recreated this twice. So I had one for add and one for remove. And that's the end of this session. Um, hopefully you've learned a lot. Again, sorry, one last thing, the image up here. Um, I didn't download the image. I did the link to the image. So this is a image from Wikipedia. So I've added the link in here and it's just linked straight to that um, Tokyo logo from Wikipedia. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed the Workout Wednesday this week. Please let us know any feedback and see you again soon.